Hello everyone, welcome back to Drew Drives. Today, let's go for a quick test drive in this 2024 Infiniti QX50 Sport. You have this red interior, red and black interior, Bose Performance Series sound system. This nice looking trim. You have ventilated seats, heated seats. These all have a two liter four cylinder, turbo four cylinder, with, uh, I believe 268 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. You still have this two screen setup. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Here's your wireless charging tray down there. You have this new gear shifter from the Nissan products and some other in the QX60. You can control the screen using this if you'd like as well, this little controller. You have a 360 camera and backup camera as well. You also have a panoramic sunroof. So to state the obvious, yes, I know this interior is pretty outdated. The QX50, QX55, and the Q50 all are due for a redesign with the new Infinity, with the new interior and everything. The QX60 has already been done re like two years ago, and the new QX80 is pretty phenomenal. I'm excited to see that in person. So yes, this does have a CVT. I'm not a big fan of CVTs as most of y'all know, but this CVT is not as bad as some other ones. I think this is doing a pretty decent job of mimicking gear shifts as you can see there. It's not like lagging all the way. It's not lagging every time you put your foot on the gas, which I hate in CVTs. Pickup isn't too bad either. The drive isn't as, uh, because of my dislike for CVTs, I was expecting the drive to not be very good, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Like this one, like the CVT is not bothering me too much. I'm, I'm okay with these mimicked gear ships in this one. I think the QX55 looks better than the QX50 with its slope back look. It's a coupe SUV, but it looks better than the QX50 for sure, in my opinion. But they're pretty much the same car. Here comes the lag under hard acceleration.
Let's do another hard acceleration here. But yeah, that droney whiny noise is just annoying. Like, it just, yeah, I bet it gets old so fast. Like, when the, the engine just sounds loud, you know? It doesn't sound healthy when it... The CVTs just make engines sound really unhealthy. But yeah, I hope in the... I think in the... I hope in the new one... New one, they get rid of the CVT. Just put a traditional automatic in there. Like how the QX60 went from having a CVT to a ZF9... Yeah, I mean, other than, other, forget the transmission and all that, the ride is pretty comfortable. Interior materials are decent in this sport. Nice stitching throughout. Materials feel pretty good. Let's take a little quick look at the car. The sport trim looks decent. With all the blacked out, you know, design, the wheels look cool. All the badges are blacked out in the back. Black exhaust tips. Looks pretty cool. I like that. You have an MSRP 50,955 on this car. You have all the all weather mats in here. Legroom's pretty cramped. I'm 6'1". I feel a little bit cramped back here, but to be fair, I did have my seat pretty pretty far back. Interior looks good for sure, other than the two screens. I like the materials. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.